In the next few days and weeks, the soot begins to blanket the Earth at high altitudes, absorbing light high above the ground and preventing sunlight from reaching the surface. This is not like science fiction, where the sky turns dark and the sun disappears. Winter is what happens when just a little less sunlight hits the ground, and now suddenly, a lot less sunlight gets through. Yesterday, the world was normal. Today, nuclear winter begins. Winter causes hunger. How bad nuclear winter would be is still an active area of research. It all hinges on one thing. How much stuff will burn really hot? How many firestorms will be caused by the heat of the explosions? This depends on many factors, from the materials a city is made of, to the time of the year, if a forest is nearby, and so on. So just keep in mind we're working with some assumptions. Here's the good news. Nuclear winter is not permanent, and definitely no new ice age. The effects on the climate only last as long as the soot remains in the atmosphere, which is at most a decade or so until it clears out and temperatures normalize. The bad news is that this causes almost immediate climate change within a few weeks. It disrupts our climate system faster than any living being can adapt to. In this new climate, our seasons are suddenly all wrong. Winters are much longer, summers shorter and colder, or gone altogether.